guys. I'm Jenna Carley. Um, so I read this study last week that your perfect lipstick shade is the color of your nipples. How bad do you all want to look at your nipples right now? We can take a minute. Should we turn the house lights up? Everyone take a sec. Um, I looked at mine after I read that and I was like, oh my gosh, this whole time I thought I was a summer. Turns out I'm an areola autumn. So <laughs> I have to go shopping. Um, I do love to shop. I will say, I think that there should be two separate return lines, you know, like a regular return line and an ambitious return line. You know what I mean? Like, and I bought this last week and I have my receipt return line. And uh, I can tell you right now, you're gonna need a manager to weigh in on this <laughs> return line. I waited in line at Target for 20 minutes behind this lady who was trying to return beef steaks without a receipt the other day. And I was like, like, I get it. Like, I once returned a fake flower bouquet to Marshall's after displaying it in my living room for three years. So like, I get it. I just think that there should be a separate line for it. Um, my friend invited me to a spin class with her last week and it was at 8 a.m. and I'm not a morning person, but it was free and I am a cheap person. So I was like, okay, let's do this. Um, so we get there and this spin instructor loved spinning, okay? She was like this, she was like, come on guys, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. And I was like, holy shit, <laughs> like, whoa. Uh, I guess it wasn't that sexual. It was more like I was watching someone shoot up heroin. Like she was getting high from the spinning. And I was like, wow, uh, we're just a bunch of white girls uh, in a garage riding bikes, you know? Like this is, this is so lame, you know? Like lame in the same way that like a cool pastor is like getting high listening to Christian rock. It's like, just lame. So it's like, okay, getting high on Jesus, lame. Getting high on spinning, lame. I'm like, wow, I guess the only thing that it's cool to be high on is drugs. <laughs> Which is, un you know, a bummer for me because I don't, I don't do them. Um, I think a lot of people's pet peeve is people who are late. And my pet peeve is people who get mad at people for being late. <laughs> because why don't you just relax? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Um, I will say worse than that though is people who are early to your house. Like, I've taken some improv classes and sometimes I'll host a practice at my apartment and there's always that one person who's like, oh, I'm 20 minutes early, can I come in? Like, no. Like, sit in your car and look at Instagram like a normal person. Like, no, you can't come in. Like, what, you're just gonna come in and I have to yes and an awkward conversation with you for a half an hour until all the normal people get there 10 minutes late? Like, no, this is my time. You know? I just think it's the rudest thing you can do to be early to someone's house. Like, I would rather you be, like, if you're gonna be more than five minutes early, I would rather you be a half an hour late. I mean that. Uh, you know, I also can't, I can't with the follow-up text the day after you hang out with somebody, like, thanks, that was fun, like, you know, because I gave you my time yesterday, you know? Like, now I have to yes and a whole nother conversation with you, like, oh, you're welcome, like, how are you today? And then it just goes on and on forever, it never stops. I just think correspondence is exhausting. So that's why emojis are the best thing that ever happened to me because I can just respond with three hearts. Three hearts from me means, thank you, I love you, this conversation is over. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm not actually that mean. I'm actually such a people pleaser, um, especially with teachers. Like my whole life, I have always just idolized my teachers and needed them to love me. And um, I just wanted them to like me so bad. 
And I still like to take a lot of classes, but now that I'm getting older, my teachers are no longer older than me. So it's getting weird because like, I'm still trying to get them to like me by showing them what a responsible kid I am. And everyone else is just treating them like a cool peer who just happens to know a lot about a particular subject because that's what they are. You know? <laughs> Uh, but I just can't stop myself. I keep coming off like this crazy, eager weirdo, and I just want my teachers to think I'm cool. So I'm going to start doing drugs. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm Jenna Carley. You've been great.